Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another installment in testing all of my makeup series and I am finally getting started on lipsticks. Yes, I have, I have started the hard yards. Also, I'm wearing a lipstick today, one that I'm testing out for the, the next installment of this series um, and I'm worried I'm going to get red lipstick on my teeth. This one might need to be decluttered, but that's for another video. So if you're new to this series, basically what I do is I take every product that I own from a specific category and I start trying them out and testing them, wearing them, seeing how I feel about them. And then I come back and I chat to you guys about it and I tell you what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of and what I want to pan and my thoughts on everything. Now, I've done a whole bunch of them. There's a playlist. I'll link it down below with all of the individual videos as well. There's a storm brewing outside. I don't know where the thunder's coming from. The sky is blue. Anyway, so if you hear that, that's what that is. Um, so I'm working on lipsticks. Now, I've got a lot of lip products. When I take into consideration, you know, um, lipsticks, lip gloss, uh, liquid lipsticks, all that jazz. There's a lot and I was kind of like this is overwhelming and I don't even want to consider doing it. Um, so what I did was I broke it up. I decided I would test all of my like bullet style lipsticks first. Uh, I got my list together and uh, then I split it in half because I was like this is going to take me months and um, it's overwhelming. So this is the first half of my lipsticks. I've already started working on the second half. We're gonna, we're, let's start. It doesn't really look like it, but according to my list, I have 54 lipsticks in here. Really? Okay, I'm gonna go through these alphabetically based off my list because it's gonna be the easiest way for me to tackle it. I'm gonna start with three concept eyes. So this one here is the creamy lipstick in Beloved. Guys, this colour is so fun. It's just... It's fucking awesome. Now, the formula is like really silky and hydrating, but it has a white base, which is what gives it that insane fluorescent um, finish. And... The problem with that is I have dry lips. Nine times out of ten my lips are dry and they don't really maintain moisture all that well. So if I have any hints of like dryness on my lips this seems to like cling to it and really make it stand out which isn't really flattering when you're wearing a fluorescent lip colour. I want to keep this, I want to wear it. I love it. It's so cool, but it just doesn't look good on my lips most of the time because most of the time I have like dry areas that are dry. Now sure, I can, you know, hydrate really well and I can use a lip scrub and all that jazz, but like I just don't really do that. I, I'm a bit more low maintenance with my makeup these days compared to what I used to be, so something like this like I'm just I'm less likely to reach for it because I know that I I need to like go to lengths to make it look good so I'm not gonna keep it even though I love it I'm not gonna hold on to it I do also have this one which is a glass finish and it's in the shade glass orange and this is kind of like in the same vein I love this. It's awesome. It's obviously nowhere near as intense as this one. But this is a really nice sheer bright orange formula that's hydrating and has a glossy finish. It's kind of like an orange lip balm. I love it. It's fantastic. I am going to hold on to that one. And I also have the um, plumping, what were you called? Plumping lips in the shade rosy. So this does have like a, an ever so slight cooling effect, which is why they call it plumping. It doesn't plump, okay? It just doesn't. Um, it's The cooling effect is very non-offensive though, which I like. It's not like 
trying to be so cooling that it irritates her lips and then plumps them, which it never does. Um, so I quite like this one. Oh, I forgot. It's non-retractable. Oh dear. And I just, I might have, did I wind it up too much? No, we should be fine. Um, color is gorgeous. It's a very hydrating. You can see it's glossy. It looks really nice on the lips. I love this one and I'm definitely holding on to it. Next up, we have my one and only Besame lipstick. This is in the shade Sleeping Beauty. I bought this collection and this is probably one of my favorite items from the collection. This formula of lipstick is really nice. It's a standard cream formula. Um, it's quite comfortable, which is nice. I can wear it. It's a really beautiful sort of mauvey rose color. It smells great too. Delicious. Yum. I would eat that. It smells like dessert. I really like this. Um, I would say I'm going to hold on to it. I would say I probably wouldn't buy more of these Besame lipsticks in the future unless it was like a collection that was just like absolutely must own. I would potentially consider buying another one because I do like their formula. But cream formulas like this where it's just like a, you know, it's almost... It's a standard finish. It's like a satin, basically. It's not glossy. It's not quite matte. It's in the middle. Um, they're not my absolute faves because I do have to, like, when I wear them for a long period, so if I'm wearing them for a night out or a day out, they do start to feel like they're sucking the life out of my lips. So I'm, I'm much better off with these, like, really glossy hydrating formulas. So I probably wouldn't buy another Besame lipstick, but... I do enjoy this one and I'm I'm going to keep it. Um, and the same goes for most of my bite. Well, I'm getting rid of a couple of these, but I am also keeping a couple. So these are the Bite uh, Amuse-Bouche lipsticks. I have four shades. So the formula of these are similar to the Sleeping Beauty and the fact that they're just a standard cream lipstick. This one here is Star Anise. And I'm going to actually get rid of this one. I love the color. Some of you will know I love a grayish lip color. Like, it's an absolute fave for me. But I feel like the formula of this is drier than the other ones that I'm going to show you. Um, Lit Turmeric is a really beautiful, easy-to-wear color, which I love. It's kind of like that almost like brick orange shade. Love that. I mean, it's lit turmeric. Are we surprised? This one is Fire Saffron, um, and it's just like, oh. I mean, lucky it's close to this shade. This isn't as fluorescent as this. I don't know how it's really going to come off on camera. Maybe you can kind of capture the differences there. This is full-on fluorescent, and this is just bright and vibrant. Um, this doesn't seem to have the white pigment that this does, so it sits just fine on the lips. Uh, and the last one that I have is Toasted Cardamom, which is a really nice sort of like darker brown shade. I think I said I was going to get rid of two of these, but on my list I've actually only marked one to get rid of, which was this one. So I'm going to stick with what my list says. I'm going to trust past Haley in her decisions in choosing the lipsticks um, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to keep and I'm going to get rid of. Moving on to ColourPop. I want to start with the just a tint um, lip crayon things. I'm getting rid of all of these. I initially started out testing these and loving them. They smell like passion fruit, which is amazing. Um, they're, you know, they've got it's kind of like a sheer-ish um, tint. They're hydrating, they're glossy, they're like really pretty. I've got a bunch of nudes here, which, you know, I like, I enjoyed them. As I was wearing them, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I really, I like these. Um, and then I have the Strand, which is like a pinky shade, which is not really my fave. Um, and I was like, oh, this one I'm happy to get rid of. But what I noticed as I was wearing these, and it happened with all of them, uh, well, the nudes, because I started wearing the nudes and the pink, I was like, by the time I got through these, I was like, nah, this is a deal breaker. I don't want any of them. As I wear these throughout the day, 
I get like this rim on the inside of my lips. If you know, you know. It's gross. I hate it. Like, it's such... It's a deal breaker for me. I don't want to wear a lip product that needs to be babysat throughout the day. Speaking of babysat, do I have red lipstick on my teeth yet? No. Good. Um, so, these guys, they're all going. I like the formula. I love the scent. If it didn't do that, I would keep them. But it does. And I'm not interested. Um, moving on to my lippy sticks. So, this one here is like magic uh, let's look i love their lippy sticks these are their like hydrating lippy sticks not their matte ones um so like magic i wrote down that it's uh my lips but better nude it's a cream formula it's a little bit drier and more matte than the other ones that i'm going to swatch next it's comfortable to wear but it also developed the line and i was like i don't i don't want I don't want this. I don't want it in my life. Let's make room for better things. Uh, let's go on to Julep. I love Julep. This one's gorgeous. Um, beautiful, bright, corally red. Absolutely stunning. I am going to keep that one. I've also got Button, which is stunning. Oh, I love Button. It's just so... It's like the perfect kind of rosy shade for me um, when we're talking more on like a pink spectrum um, when we're talking about rosy shades that have more purple or gray tones in them I love them very easy to wear but when we're talking about pinky rose shades like I kind of struggle with a lot of them but this one I love and then I have Aquarius and I really enjoy this one as well it's like a brownie nude shade cool tones very pretty love those so those ones i am going to keep and eventually try to pan next up is my dior lip glow uh look i don't know i i like this pro i like the formula of this product like it's a you know it's a sheer tint it's hydrating it's very much like a balm um, but it's one of those color adjusting ones. So, you know, as you wear it, it's going to color adjust to this like really gaudy pink shade. To me, it's really dated. I don't, I do not like color adjusting products. I haven't for a very long time. Now, I did pop this over a nude lip liner and I liked that. So I feel like, look, I paid for this. I kind of, you know how I am about waste. Um, I like to find ways to use things if I can. And since there are things that I like about this, I'm thinking what I'll do with it is try and pan it next year and pair it with a nude lip liner that I also want to pan. You can start to see that it's coming up with that pinky tint. Um, so I'm thinking I'll do that, but I wouldn't buy one of these again. I think they do lip glows in different shades now. Is that correct? I don't know if they're all color adjusting though. I don't know. I, I'm not buying color adjusting lip products. That's the end of that story. Um, I do have another Dior lipstick here. And I don't know if this is how... I think this is how they all smell. To me, it reminds me of like fucking baby powder. It's kind of gross. Um, this is a beautiful like, you know, sort of mid-tone nude shade. I really like it. But... Um, the scent turns me off and also as I wear it I feel like my lips are getting dried out so I've opted to get rid of that one. Moving on to M Cosmetics I have two here these are both the lip cushions um tinted lip luminizer uh I have the shades god I can't remember here we go Venetian Rose these are also non-retractable if I remember correctly yeah I'm a bit scared about winding these up uh, so Venetian Rose which I think we all know and many of us love very much a shade that I enjoy wearing and I also have Faded Clementine which is also a really beautiful like 
clementine shade basically these are really comfortable you can see they've got the glossiness going on which means they're quite hydrating they're easy for me to wear they don't require a lot of babysitting and they wear off fairly well as well so that's nice those guys i'm definitely keeping and i probably buy more of those in the future if there were shades that i wanted and i didn't already own 50 million lipsticks i also have this this is actually from essence i've had this kicking around for years it's a colour up shine on in number 10. I think it, it's Rosy Glitz. So again, this is one of those like, you know, beautiful nude shades. Um, little hints of rose. It reminds me a bit of like, I'm like chocolatey rose shade. Uh, very shiny, very hydrating, really easy to wear. I like it and I'm going to keep it. I have two lipsticks here or two, yeah, two lipsticks from Hindash. So I have the... Rest in Roses Manifesto Lipstick. This is a matte balm. Now, uh, both of these formulas um, are like the silicon matte type lipsticks. This one is Call Me Peaches and it's an ultra matte. Oh my god. Oh, I just had flashbacks to when I was uh, doing a... <laughs> doing a wedding and I dropped a red lipstick and it like tumbled down the bride's dress and <sighs> everything was fine no damage done but oh just yeah the hmm, white and dropping lipsticks oh it's a vibe a bad one um so both of these lipsticks are like they have the matte finish um, but they're silicon mattes. Now, I wore these and I was like, these are not going to be like my first item of lip product that I would reach for. Like, it's not going to be my first choice because the silicon formulas, like they don't, uh, they just don't really work for me. Dry lips, they're meant to feel more comfortable. And I think if you don't struggle with dry lips or dry skin, then yes, absolutely you know, I think they're fantastic. They are definitely more comfortable than a traditional matte lipstick or liquid lipstick or something like that, but they still give you that absolutely beautiful matte finish. Um, but for me, even though I'm not going to reach for these often and I probably wouldn't keep them organically in my collection, I do receive PR from Hindash and if he releases more lipsticks and I do receive them in PR, I want to be able to compare colors when a brand sends me pr i like to keep their past products even if it's something that i'm not going to use super often or at all simply because i like to be able to compare things when i feel that that's necessary um usually when we're like comparing formulas or color stories or something like that so i am keeping these because i feel like they may be useful for me in the future and I also have here from Illamasqua, it's a Hydra Lip Tint in Banoffee. I hate the way this bullet looks. It just upsets me so much. Anyway, moving on. Um, so this is a hydrating like lip tint. It's got the two colors. When you apply it, uh, it like mixes together and makes a really nice sort of caramelly shade. God, that looks bad on my skin, doesn't it? It looks much better on the lips. Um, it is kind of like a tinted balm. It's hydrating. It's fairly comfortable to wear. I wouldn't buy another one because there's, you know, the packaging and jazz. I'm not that into it. The scent is a bit like, I don't know. It's not great. Um, it smell. it's like, it kind of smells like vanilla pudding or some sort of like generic vanilla -y scent, but also like raw ingredients which i don't love so i wouldn't buy one of these again but i spent my money on it and i would like to pan it next are all of my hourglass confession ultra slim lipsticks this part of testing was so stressful um i'm just gonna say right now i'm not gonna get rid of any of them um i went through and i wore them all and i after I'd sort of tested maybe half of them, I was like, oh, I kind of like, I've got a lot of like nudie shades. I've got a lot of similar shades here. I want to sort of, you know, categorize them and compare them because so many of them started to look really similar. And uh, my brain snapped. I was just like, this is insane. I have 
too many of these lipsticks. I have too many lipsticks full stop. I am like going on an absolute fucking lipstick ban because it's just, it's out of control. Now I have sort of put these in an order on my list where it's like all of the nudes and then the reds and you get it. So I'm going to try to see if I can sort of show you what's going on here. Something else I discovered while I was going through these, so when you have the refills, because these lipsticks, actually, I might show you this now. These lipsticks are refillable. And I actually had quite a few people contact me throughout the year on Instagram uh, saying, how do I, how do I put the refill in? I'm confused, I'm worried, I'm scared I'm going to break it. So all you do is you take this guy and you just grab this part, you grab this part and you just pull. You don't have to use a lot of force, it just pops out. Then when you want to put in a new uh, refill, you take this part, take the lid off. You're going to grab the bottom here and you're going to do the same. Just pull it off and then you just pop it in and that's it. That's how you refill these lipsticks. Really easy, you're not going to break it, don't worry. Just don't be scared. Something I realized when I was uh, doing this was obviously I have backups of some shades because I was fucking crazy and um, I would buy like duplicates of their holiday collections or I was gifted them. I think I was most likely gifted them because people knew I was obsessed and they're like, here's a gift, uh, which is lovely and sweet. So I've ended up with like you know, doubles of some of them, even triples in some case, but let's not, let's not go into that just yet. Um, what I noticed is usually on the refills, there is a little tag at the bottom that tells you the shade. But in my case, I have quite a few where the sticker on the bottom isn't the actual lipstick in the tube. And you can tell that because it says here, uh, this one says, you are my, you won't be able to see that. But then on the side, it says my one desire. So uh, that was fun. Uh, and I'm just realizing now, like if I want to swatch all of my nudes together, I have to go through all of these individually and open them. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. This has been like, I actually hate myself for buying so many of these lipsticks. It's just, and I hate myself a little bit more because I was like, I can't bring myself to get rid of any of these. It's like, it's making me sad. Um, I think what I'll do is I will just, we'll go through and swatch these all on the hands and just whatever. I'll tell you the shade names as I go. So this one is You Can Find Me. This is one of my pinker ones and it, it's a beautiful pink shade. I really like it. This one is Secretly and it's in like my red family. Oof, pretty. This one is I've Never. It is a gorgeous nude shade. I have a lot of nudes, guys. This one is No One Knows. And again, it's kind of in like the pink family. This one is I Wonder. Uh, that was from the ghost collection another one from the ghost collection is i cherish which is like another sort of nudie pink shade um you're gonna oh god once we get these swatches on you'll see just how many nudes there are it's bad uh you inspire also from the ghost range this is kind of down here in the ready berry category and also oh and i might have a bitch and moan in a second um all Forever, this is another like red shade here. Um, the packaging on this like ghost collection, so essentially it's like a frosted clear lid and they're plastic. All of my lids have this like, like little hairline cracks um, around the base where they like clip in, so they're really loose. We don't like that. We don't like shitty lipstick packaging from brands that charge an arm and a leg. This one is Loves All of You, which is down here. I feel like I have, I feel like I have a duplicate of that one somewhere. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to find them and remember all their names. Uh, this one is You Are My, another nudie shade. 
little bit darker. I think I did a video swatching all of these. I might see if I can find it and uh, link it for you guys. This one's I'm Addicted. I feel like I would have been in a better headspace for like, you know, <laughs> making, making that video. I probably doesn't have all of my hourglass lipstick lipsticks in it um but yeah i felt very overwhelmed trying to go through these and because initially i was like maybe i will be able to declutter some of these especially if i can like start matching up shades that all look the same and in the end i was just like i was sweating i was so stressed <laughs> it's just like this is fucking ridiculous um, this one is At Night. I feel like we already swatched an At Night, didn't we? <laughs> this is what, this is what I was going through. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Don't know. Absolutely no idea. This one is One Day. Again, I feel like, we, did we swatch a One Day? I don't know. I, I don't know. And now they're just like growing in a pile here. Um, this one is My One Desire. This looks to be a little bit more of like a pinky mauve. Oh, here's one for sure that I know is like a duplicate. So this is the Red Zero uh, shade that, which is the one that's been used. Uh, it's a Red Zero shade that they brought out. Was it this year or last year? I can't remember. Um, but it is a vegan alternative to uh, Carmine pigment shade. Uh, so it's that one there. So it exactly replicates the shade that Carmine creates, but you don't have to uh, crush the bugs to get the color, which is nice. Um, now I have two. I bought one. Madeline ended up with one and she didn't want it. And I was like, she's like, would you like it? And I'm like, Yes, please. This one is I Hide My, and I believe this is, is this my only actual, like, proper purple shade? I feel like this one just here um, is a bit more kind of mulberry whiny, whereas this is like vampiric purple gorgeousness. Then I have At Dawn. I do love At Dawn. It's beautiful. There we go. This one is I Hope. I feel like we've already swatched an I Hope. Have we? Was that I Hope? I don't know. If it wasn't, they freaking look very similar. And then I have All of Me. This one is beautiful as well. Um, it really needs to go sort of in the pinky category. But where? I'm running out of space. Stunner. Gorgeous. It's kind of like a corally pink. Very, very pretty. This one is I Woke Up. More nudes. <laughs> and then I have a collection which I think is from Valentine's Day, I think. Um, I've got I Can't Live Without, which is kind of kind of a ready purpley shade. Uh, it's that one there. This is the one I've been trying to finish and pan. It is My One Desire. This is kind of like a pinky nude, uh, which is just there. And this one is If Only, which is another kind of nudie, nudie shade. Beautiful, beautiful colour. And then I have these refills, and I'm just going to go right ahead and assume that if it hasn't been swatched or used at least once, then it means it's a duplicate. Um, this one is True Love Means. It's a nude. We've got more nudes. Oh, it's a pinky nude. This one is I Hope, and it hasn't been swatched. I know we already did an I Hope. I feel like it was that one there. Um, but on the bottom it says, I can't live without. So thanks for the confusion. Oh, nearly dropping stuff. This one is At Dusk. This is a gorgeous shade. Gorgeous, like... But again, like, the reds and everything really... They all start to look very similar. This one is my one desire. Did I... I don't know if I've... Oh, I don't fucking know. Like, I am losing my mind at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm, ugh, can you see it? Uh, it's this one. I'm, maybe it's that one as well. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Lipstick ban. Absolutely lipstick ban. Um, this one is I Woke Up. I don't... 
it looks like it's been swatched at some stage so I don't I don't know I don't I don't know and this one is you are my and it's never been touched so we're not swatching it but guys what the fuck uh this it drove me insane um and it was kind of the thing that made me be like you were never allowed to buy lipsticks again in your life not true but you know we've got some shit to sort out here now I've opted not to get rid of any of these because I absolutely love the hourglass formula I love the packaging it's beautiful I love skinny bullets I love it I love it it's so good the packaging is also very smart since they're skinny they're quite soft yes they can break if you wind them up too much but the packaging fully supports the bullet of the lipstick so if you just wind it up enough to use it which is you know it doesn't need to be a lot the lipstick is fully supported there's no breakage you've got nice precision to apply it they're just fantastic i really really love them um they're refillable which is great you don't need 50 million of these bullets though let me tell you that much so since i love the formula um and i paid for all of these with my own money i'm going to sleep in the bed that i have made uh, no matter how painful it is and i am going to work on trying to finish some of these now i have been trying to pan two this year making terrible progress simply because I'm also trying to pan lip balms and I'm trying to test out my lip products and it's just it's ridiculous I was also trying to pan these alongside panning mini lipstick products just like it's it was stupid very very stupid attempt at panning this year not well thought out now this lipstick here is the one that I have made the most progress on um, in my project pan so this is my one desire and if I take one that is full basically no that's I have used a lot of these lipsticks so I need to like I'm gonna give myself credit for that I need to oh here one of these is 100% full I know that there we go so this is one of the red zero lipsticks okay so if I just show you like there's not a lot of product in there and I have hardly used the one that's in my project pan like if I was using it every time I did my makeup or like even you know a couple of times a week realistically I could probably burn through some of these fairly quickly especially the nudes um, the bright pinks the reds and the purples are going to take me a lot longer because I don't wear these sort of colors often um, but you know that's fine that's totally fine so I am going to aim at trying to pan some of these um, I'm gonna try to work through them and I am certain I will buy some of these lipsticks again in the future but that future is not in the short term this is very long term I think next year I will go on a hundred percent no buy for lipsticks I don't think I've purchased any this year correct me if I'm wrong I'd have to go back and look but um, yeah at least for the next year 100% no buy on lipsticks or any sort of lip product because I just it would be a stupid decision based on how many lipsticks I have not just here but fucking in general oh my god aren't they beautiful <laughs> this shade here I want to wear it it's gorgeous now I will say um a lot of these lipsticks especially like when we're looking at the nudes and stuff so many of them look similar a lot of them are also actually limited edition because I mostly purchased these lipsticks from their limited edition like hol holiday packs uh Valentine's Day packs stuff like that or when they did these like special edition ones so um a lot of them are limited and you can't get them anymore so I am gonna just go forth and enjoy what I have hourglass does ha have a huge range of these lipsticks so you know if you see colors here that you like you could uh, pop along to the store and have a little swatch fest oh there's a dog she wants to have a swatch fest you want to swatch fest yes we just had one I feel traumatized so I just counted them up and I can confirm that there was 54 lipsticks here. Doesn't look like it, but 
there he is. Um, now, I'm only getting rid of eight. But, look, I was like, eight is lame. It's so lame. Shit. What just fell in there that I didn't want to fall in there? Star Anise? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, eight is better than zero. And at least what I'm left with is stuff that I know I'm, like, if I pull it out of my lip drawer, I'm going to want to wear it. I'm not going to be questioning do I even like this? That's literally the goal of doing these videos um, and going through this process. Get rid of the things that you just know, or I know, I would not love to wear on any given day. So I'm gonna leave that there, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me while I had a meltdown on camera. <laughs> um, it was fun, let's do it again next time. No, hopefully uh, next time it'll be a little bit easier. It was just really hard with these hourglass lipsticks. Like, you know, having to, like, look at the name and look at the colours and take the lips, uh, the lid off every time. And uh, just, yeah, yeah, I think you get it. When you have so many of something that all looks the same, like, you just, you don't know what's inside. So... That makes it really hard, but it's fine. It's done. It's behind me now, and uh, I can move on to the next lot of products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave your comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.